The screencast is based upon my end of module 3 review practice set that I created. These problems parallel those of the homework and the assessment itself as well. Okay, this is a very common uh, sort of problem. We've done many, many, many of these over several lessons, so this one should not be too difficult. Let's read it. Bob bought five and a half pounds of ground beef. He used one and one third pounds to make meatloaf and one fourth of a pound to make a hamburger. How many pounds of hamburger, or ground beef, does Bob have left? Write one or more equations to show how you reached your answer. We'll start with a tape diagram using the RDW. We've just read it, and now we're going to draw D. We know that the whole amount is five and a half. So we bracket the whole diagram and label it five and a half. We know that he used one and one third to make some meatloaf. And he used one quarter pound to make a hamburger. How much does he have left? We could uh, write an equation several ways, but we'll start with the one that uh, is most commonly used in my classroom. We have our whole, five and one half. And we're going to subtract the sum of one and one third and one fourth. We'll work with the expression in the parentheses first. So we have one plus one third, we decompose our mixed number, and now we're going to add our fractions first, finding our common denominator. So notice that I keep copying my five and one half all the way through. If I don't do that, I'll tend to think that I, uh, I'll tend to forget that part of the expression. So now we have one plus uh, our common denominator is twelves because 3 times 4 is 12. 1 third becomes 4 twelfths, 1 fourth becomes 3 twelfths. We'll uh, simplify. We can take the entire expression now and find the sum. It's 1 and 7 twelfths. Now I'm going to decompose my First, I'm going to subtract the holes, rather. So 5 minus 1 is 4, so I have 4. Now we decompose 4 and 1 half minus 7 twelfths. 7 twelfths is greater than 1 half, so I'm going to have to change the order here. So I have 4 minus 7 twelfths plus 1 half. We'll continue up here. 4 minus 7 twelfths is 3 and five twelfths plus one half. I can easily translate one half into twelfths by multiplying both the numerator and the denominator by six. So let's continue. We have three and five twelfths and one half becomes six twelfths. I find the sum and I get three and eleven twelfths. We can also do this by a series of subtraction. So I'll, I'll write another equation that would work equally well. I could do repeated subtraction. So I would have 5 and 1 half minus 1 and 1 third minus 1 fourth. And I can just go from left to right. So I'd have, I would look at this part of the expression first. I'll subtract the whole. So I now have 4 plus 1 half minus 1 third. Now I could subtract 1 third uh, from the 1 half. I like to stick with method 1. So we're going to rewrite this. We'll put in that minus 1 fourth. We'll have 4 minus 1 third plus 1 half minus 1 fourth. Four minus one third is three and two thirds plus one half minus one fourth. Our common denominator would be a six, so we have three plus four six plus three six minus one fourth. 
and that would uh, be 3 and 7 sixths, which is the same as 4 and 1 sixth and minus 4. All right, so now I go and switch the order 4 minus 1 fourth plus 1 sixth. 4 minus 1 fourth, oops, erase that, is 3 and 3 fourths plus 1 sixth. And our common denominator is 12, so I have 3, and that's 9 twelfths plus 2 twelfths. And once again, I get 3 and 11 twelfths. Of course, when I'm done with that, I need to write my statement. So we've fulfilled it. We've got our equation. Make sure that you uh, fulfill all the uh, items in the task and then show how you get your answer and of course you should make a statement saying that Bob has 3 and 11 twelfths pounds of hamburger or ground beef left. The next problem depends upon the information in the previous problem so I jotted that down. I say I wrote that we have 3 and 11 twelfths uh, pounds left. Uh, we have 1 and 1 third pounds per batch of meatloaf and one fourth pound for each hamburger. So let's uh, look at the information here and read it. First step, Bob wants to make two more batches of meatloaf and one more hamburger. He will use the same amount for each batch as before. How much hamburger will he need, or ground beef I should say? Uh, does he have enough? Use Explain using words, pictures, or numbers. I'd like to do a combination of these. So again, we'll make a tape diagram. Our whole is what we have left. And that's 3 and 11 twelfths. And we have to make 1 and 1 third bat, uh, for each of these meatloaves. And 1 fourth for the hamburger. Do we have enough? Well, if we have enough, we're going to have something left over here. So, again, like the previous problem, we're going to solve it by a combination of uh, finding the sum of these three items here, the two batches of meatloaf and the hamburger, and subtract that from 3 and 11 twelfths. We need to, uh, we need to have a, a sum here that's less than 3 and 11 twelfths for this to work. Or we could do repeated subtraction. I'm only going to do it one way this time. So I'm going to set up my equation. There's my picture, by the way. My equation is 3 and 11 twelfths minus the sum of 1 and 1 third and 1 and 1 third plus 1 fourth. Okay, well, uh, it's easiest to deal with the numbers in the parentheses with the like denominators. So we have 3 and 11 twelfths minus, well, I'll find the sum, 1 plus 1 is 2, and 1 third plus 1 third is 2 thirds. I'm going to decompose that, plus 1 fourth. All right, now we need to find the sum of the fractional parts. Again, copying 3 and 11 twelfths, so we don't forget that. And our common denominator is 12. Two-thirds becomes eight-twelfths, and one-fourth is three-twelfths. We will now continue. I can find the sum of these. It's two wholes. Eight plus three is eleven-twelfths. And th three and eleven twelfths minus two and eleven twelfths is simple enough is one. So does he have enough? Yes he does. And he has one pound left over. Again write our statement. So we have covered the idea of numbers, we have covered the idea of pictures, and of course we could use words, but uh, if we, it says using words, pictures, or numbers, if you're using two out of three, that's good. If you want to writ, uh, have a written explanation of what you did, that would strengthen your case. Let's continue. On Monday, Bob used one and one-fifth less hamburger in the morning than he did in the afternoon. 
If he used two and one fourth pounds in the morning, how much did he use in the afternoon? Got to read uh, carefully here. Uh, what do we know? We know how much he used in the morning. So we're going to draw a picture. Put an M for morning. And we know that that is two and one fourth pounds. We're going to put the afternoon below that. If he used less in the morning than he did in the afternoon, and conversely, he used more in the afternoon than he did in the morning. So we'll start with the morning amount. And we will tack on our one and one fifth because he used more in the afternoon and less in the morning. So let's look at uh, our question again. It says, how much did he use in the afternoon? Okay, well, it's represented by this second diagram here. So we have a diagram, and we could uh, take that, and we could bracket this and put a question mark on it. And that tells us that we need to find the sum. So we have 2 and 1 fourth plus 1 and 1 fifth. We're going to find the sum of the whole numbers. That's 3 plus 1 fourth plus 1 fifth. Now we'll find the sum of the fractions. Our common unit is 20 ths. And 1 fourth becomes 5 20 ths, and 1 fifth becomes 4 20 ths. And our answer is 3 and 9 20 ths. Again, I included a picture and some numbers, and of course we could also include some words. Okay, we have another word problem with Bob. I just want to cross out some words because there was a little typo here, so... Uh, so we'll just do that so we're not confused. All right, now we'll read. It says, Bob used more home hamburger on Tuesday. He used four and three-tenths pounds, but he dropped one and two-tenths pounds and had to throw that much away. How much hamburger did he not throw out? Write an equation that shows how you reached your answer. Well, if we look at the problem here, we can see that we have both a mixed number with fractions, and we have a decimal number as well. So we can decide how we want to do that. We could work with fractions, or we could work with decimals. I think a lot of people find it more straightforward to work with decimals. So we'll convert 4 and 3 tenths to a decimal number, which is quite simple. Say the name, 4, and it tells you to put in a decimal, 3 tenths. So we want to write an equation. So 4 and 3 tenths minus 1 tenth. All right, and we can easily figure that out. We end up with 3 and 1 tenths pound. There's our equation. We could also write a tape diagram for that. So we know that the whole is 4 and 3 tenths, 1 and 2 tenths. That was dropped, and this was not dropped. Very simple problem. In order to answer this final question, we need information from the previous two problems. So I grabbed some of the information from our Monday, uh, that was a problem on the top of the page, and Tuesday, the problem immediately before this. Did he sell more on Monday, or did he have more after he threw away the burger he dropped on Tuesday? How much more? Write an equation. Well, we have to go back and do some work with the uh, Monday information here because that 3 and 9 tenths is what he sold in the afternoon, so we're not done. So we have a, a to add on what we had in the morning. So I'm going to do this in red. Hopefully we're going to have enough space here. So we have 3 and 9 tenths plus the morning 2 and 1 fourth. We will find the sum of the whole numbers, 5, and we'll have our fractions. So we have 5 plus 9, and I made a little mistake there, it's 9 twentieths, not 9 tenths. So we need to find our common unit for the fractions. Well, twentieths will work with uh, 1 fourth as well. So we have 5 plus 9 twentieths 
plus 5 twentieths. And now we have 5 and 13 twentieths. That's how much we had on Monday. Now we need to work with Tuesday. Uh, did he have more on Monday? Or did he have more on Tuesday? Well, we can easily compare those by looking at the whole numbers. 5 and 13 twentieths is uh, certainly larger than 3 and 1 tenth. But now we had to find how much more. So if we set up another tape diagram here, we'll do it in red once again, we know that our greater amount is 5 and 13 twentieths and 3 and 1 tenths, and we have a question mark. That's one way to do that. Now, we have the choice of converting our mixed number to an improper fraction. We could do that, or to a, a decimal, we could do that easily, because I know that 20 times 5 equals 100, right? So I'm going to have to multiply 13 twentieths times 5 over 5, and that gives me 65 hundredths, which is equal to 65 hundredths. So now I have 5 and 65 hundredths. I'm going to write that uh, down below here because it asks for an equation. So 5 and 65 hundredths minus 3 and 1 tenth. I'll find the difference. I'm going to write it going vertically. 3 and 65 hundredths. Remember, we have to line up those decimals. We subtract. And I get 100 or 1 and 55 hundredths. So, how much more? It's first of all, the answer is he had more on Monday, sold more on Monday. By 1 and 55 hundredths pounds. And that takes care of that. So you have to go through something very similar when you do your homework, and you'll have to go something through something very similar when you take your assessment.